for the ref excuse me for the commentator ring announcer to uh, give us the particulars. How much do you think uh, the southpaw stance of uh, Bartholomew will affect Grady? You know, Grady's been around a long time, and uh, I don't think that's going to affect him at all. To be honest with you, he's fought several uh, southpaws over his career. You know, when you have the level of these two fighters, Caesar, like I, we keep saying, this, the importance of this fight is to continue your career. It's a good performance or else it's a done performance for your career. It's that simple. I mean, there's no way to sugarcoat it. Would you expect any other answer from Billy C? No. <laughs> <laughs> This is a championship fight. There's so much ramifications on the line. And yet, when I look around me, I see that most people came here for the fight that just ended. Yes, uh, they came to see uh, Smiley. Yes. And they came in the left. Oh, thank God that that other mic noise is out of our head. Okay, here we go. We've been waiting 24 hours. Standing out in the weather. <laughs> Weigh-in way experience I've never had. A trip to Atlanta that I've never experienced. All culminating to what we're about to see. There we go, Bell. We go. First, first round of a scheduled 12-round fight. Grady Brewer in the gray trunks. And Gorbis Bartholomew in the white trunks with the uh, red trim. Grady Brewer is uh, looking to uh, establish the body, maybe. He just uh, attempted two two body shots that both fell short. And you uh, are so right about Bartholomew uh, right off the bat. Uh, Grady hasn't been able to land anything yet, but then again, Bartholomew hasn't landed anything either. Oh, he got caught. It was more of a his foot knocked him off balance a little bit. But, you know, with something like that, if he would have thrown a punch at the same time, who knows if it would have been scored a knockdown. You know, I, th I think uh, um, Grady's doing it on purpose. He's actually stepping on the on the foot of Bartholomew before he throws a punch. Hey, these veterans know all the tricks, Caesar. <laughs> An accidental uh, step happens with the front of the foot, not with the ball of the foot. Right. Well, now he just did it to Grady, same kind of thing, trying to trip him over his foot. But, you know, this is clearly a feeling out round for these two guys. Although, that, that, that it seems like uh, Grady may be uh, uh, trying to throw some powerful shots to the body. And I think he's only landed one so far to the body. His corn is yelling to him to uh, establish the jab, Bartholomew. Exactly, he's telling him in Spanish, uh, you have to establish the jab, touch him with the jab. I know a little Spanish. Un poquito espanol, Cesar. He's telling him, don't square up, uh, try to get to the middle of the ring. And down goes Bartholomew from a slip, and then a trip, and then a stomp. <laughs> All by Grady Brewer, the, Almost to me. <laughs> the, the experienced veteran. Now I wonder, I wonder if uh, Bartholomew has some uh, some reach advantage because his corner keeps uh, asking him to use the to use the jab and put some distance between him and uh, box him on the outside. Well, you know, I, I I think that's good advice because Grady Brewer is kind of giving him a jab. He's, he's leaving his head open. Yeah, I know he's waiting to counter, but uh, Bartholomew's defense seems a little more solid than uh, Grady Brewer's. At least at this point, neither one of them have really landed anything substantial yet. But like we both uh, feel, it's a feel-out round for both of these guys. Oh, yes. It's a 12-round fight. This isn't a four-round fight. We've seen four-round fights all night long. They don't have the time these two guys do. Plus, they were both uh, in the twilights of their career. They know how to uh, you know, conserve energy. And uh, hey, one round has to be put in the books, and it is. Tough run to score, Billy. Yeah, it is a tough one to score. Not many, not many punches thrown. You know, the defensive ability, uh, the defensive uh, game, I should say, of uh, uh, of uh, Bartholomew, and uh, the fact that he did land a couple of body shots. I I'm going to give that first round to Bartholomew. Uh, I concur. Of course, you uh, you use your 
pen and paper, and I'm over here using the latest in technology. I, I see that. I saw you bring that up uh, calmly and coolly uh, in between uh, fights here. And uh, I'll use the old pen and paper. You're seeing a replay, it looks like, or something. A little replays in the first round. It looks uh, like uh, Bartholomew was just trying to establish his jab a little bit. I think he's going to pick it up a little this round. I think that's what I overheard in his corner. I think both fighters deserve a, uh, a feel-out round. Well, that was a strange, uh, you know, touching of the gloves in the second round. Oh, yes, make friends. Yeah. Usually, you don't you'll see that until they actually hurt each other. Right. I like, you know, the, it, I like the commentary about the corner. They, they keep giving us the blow by blow. You know, it, it's funny because uh, it looks like uh, it looks like uh, Bartholomew wanted to throw the body, and there he goes again, trying to trying to work the body of uh, of uh, Grady Brewer. And, and in my opinion, Grady Brewer seems to be overprotecting his body. Maybe, yes. maybe, maybe uh, Bartholomew realizes that may, maybe he's uh, a little soft. You know, maybe maybe susceptible to the to the body punch, but his, uh, Grady's midsection looks pretty pretty well kept. Yeah, he's in good shape. Um, I, but you know, he, he was talking about guaranteeing a knockout and stuff, and uh, it it just seems it's so far, so far, it seems like Bartholomew has more pop behind his punches. Yes. You know, if in my opinion, if if Grady's going to get a knockout, he, he's going to have to invest in uh, taking a little bit of chances and. Uh, Get on the inside, try to bang the body. Could Bart he be? Could he be trying to wear down uh, Bartholomew, or let Bartholomew wear down himself? With a constant move that Bartholomew has, it might be possible. But then again, every fight that I've ever seen him in, that's the way he fights. Uh, constant movement. He doesn't give you a stable target. Uh, Grady is really not cutting the the ring too effectively right now. No. Another sharp body shot by Bartholomew. There you go. Good, now, good. Great, great. now the fight's just starting. There you go. That, that's that's what a pro does. Uh, if they're, they're going to clinch you, you have a, uh, a free hand, you're working with that hand. See, both of these fighters just got mad at each other because Grady Brewer was nailing uh, Bartholomew in the face while they were going to clinch. And I, I think that just really, I think now they both realize they're in a fight. Because up to this point, nobody's landed anything too hard. <laughs> a lot of missing going on from Grady Brewer. It just it doesn't seem sharp. Yeah, it, it seems like he, like you said, he, he guaranteed the knockout, and he is trying to trying to get the knockout. Well, I'm noticing one thing about Grady right now. He's dry as a bone. Yes. This is his second round. You know, he's not even he's not even glistening yet. At yeah. least Bartholomew, Bartholomew is, is, is warmed up. Oh, straight left. Drops straight uh, left. Drops. Brewer's in trouble. And he's in trouble. Brewer's in trouble. Uh, the left just got him right on the button. Ten second warning. Bartholomew's he's, he's he's loading up right now. It's coming. Grady Brewer just landed a, a shot. Oh. Yep. Ah, uh, pretty mean mugging going on right now. Yeah. Now the fight the fight just started yes, in that round. Sir. Now with this. There's some concern in the corner. We're going to see the replay of that knockdown. Here we go. We got, uh, boom, straight left yeah. hand. I, you know, I think it was more of a shock knockdown. At, initially, we thought he was hurt. I think he gets tangled up in the ropes here, and that's why he staggered. He actually brushed his uh, gloves off himself. Um, he, he seems okay. If you uh, notice, um, Bartholomew did, did a feint to the body and went straight with a straight right, I'm assuming straight left to the head and caught uh, Grady right on the chin. See, Grady's brushing himself off right there. Now I'm looking over at Grady right now. He seems totally fine. His, uh, his he's clear. Uh, he's telling his corner he's okay. And uh, you know I had just said how dry he looked, and and I think it's an indication that uh, maybe he didn't work he didn't work up a sweat going into this fight. Well, that uh, weight that he had to lose uh, for the fight is probably taking effect right about it was, now. It was one pound. You know, I, I wonder, 
how long he was trying to lose weight. You know, when I talked to him last week, I said, how's training going? He says, I'm just concentrating on making weight right now, which is a bad sign. That means he was he was trying to cut pounds for a week, which means if you're focusing on that, that means you're focusing on diet, not eating, maybe running a little more, and uh, you're not uh, you're not sparring, you're not uh, doing the other things that you need to do. They're asking for the double jab from Bartholomew now. Now, now Bartholomew just shook his left hand. Could he have hurt his left hand just now? I, I didn't see him uh, hit anything that could have could have hurt. Let's take a look. He was just shaking it. And all of a sudden, uh, I haven't seen him throw a left since I saw him say, shake it. So far, he's been leading with his right. And he's waiting for an opportunity for his left. But again, I haven't seen him throw it since I saw him shaking it like he heard it. There, see, and even that. Yeah, he was even... very. Yeah, he's. He threw it gingerly. He had, he had a pain look in his face. I'm telling you, he hurt it. He hurt his hand somehow. Maybe we think grounds we can uh, catch a replay on it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it, it almost seemed like he hit the rope. You know, when he's throwing those lefts all of a sudden, he, he's missing on, I mean, he's just, he's throwing them short. That's behind the head. We haven't seen any solid lefts since, since I saw him shake that hand. Maybe we'll see the replay of him shaking the hand. Look, see, he just did it again. Now, I don't know if that's just uh, him, you know, try okay, there was a shot that he was trying to throw, so eh, he's probably fine. Grady just looks a little slow to me. Yes, uh, he's waiting too long to throw a punch, and he's not hes not throwing combinations. He's, he's trying to nail him with one shot. Yeah, Grady, Grady, to me, has not demonstrated that he's got any zip behind his punches. And um, he's throwing you right one punch at a time, and his hands are down. He just seems a lot slower. I, it's clear to me Bartholomew is a lot sharper than uh, Grady Brewer right now. And, and, and Bartholomew feels it, too, because he's bullying him around the ring. Yes, he is. Action's right here in front of us, in the corner. And again, Grady Brewer, uh, you know, he's, he's, he, he looks like he's in shape. He's just starting to glisten a little bit. He was very dry in this fight. He already hit the canvas in the second round. In my opinion, he's lost all three. This is the end of the third round. It was the hardest punch of the night so far by Grady Brewer, and half of it was blocked. I, I So far, I have it three rounds to none in favor of, uh, of uh, Gorvis Bartholomew. And in addition to three rounds to none, we have the 10-8 round in round number two, Caesar. Yes, that makes it 30-26. Uh, well, there's some concern in Grady Brewer's team. I see his wife uh, up on her feet. Got a chance to talk with her. And she's... Uh, not happy right now. Mm. Bartholomew's corner keeps telling him you need to double up on the jab. Uh, don't line up with him. Uh, throw your left hand from an angle. Bartholomew's not breathing hard. He seems like he's in good shape. And Grady Brewer is still not really worked up a sweat yet. They're touching gloves between every round. Huh? Maybe they'll get a hotel room later. <laughs> I've never been too fond of touching gloves with anybody. Uh, it's a fight. You can be friends after the fight. Right. Grady's, he's headhunting. He's, he's looking for a one-punch knockout. And, and he's just, I don't know if he's got the power right now. There they go. They're, they're really exchanging body. Oh, good, good, good body shot by, Again, by Grady. Bartholomew is just out bullying Grady Brewer. Oh, 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 oh take down. They just switched to MMA. That that was a blatant tackle. Now, do you think the referee could take a point for that? That looked blatant to me. That well, he is he's, he's giving him, right him a warning right now. Warning. Like you said, uh, he didn't even make a, an attempt to slow down. Oh, he wrapped he his arms down. Yeah, and he wrapped his arms around him, and, and it was like he was, it was like Grady Brewer was a tackling dummy yes. in football. Get out. 
Gray Brewer, is, I'm just starting to see him sweat now. Could, could, he, could, he, could, he, could he, do you think he decided that he would loosen up in those first few rounds and, and catch uh, Bartholomew later on? I mean, it's cost him a knockdown, and in my, on my unofficial scorecard, he's lost all first three rounds. Yes, he, he should know better than to come cold to the ring if that is the case. Another warning to Bartholomew this time for, of course, bullying him into the ropes. That would be so foolish of Bartholomew to risk losing a point here while he's got him ahead on the scorecards by three rounds, including a knockdown. For him to lose a point here would be uh, very beneficial for, for Grady Brewer. Bartholomew's beaten him to the punch. He's landing the harder, crisper punches. And he just kicked him in the... <laughs> He just like he kicked him in the places where you don't want to be kicked. He's taking okay, a point away right now. One point off. The point is, the, the referee just deducted one point from Bartholomew for roughhouse tactics. And if he doesn't watch it, he's going to get another one taken away. He's on the verge, yeah. So, something I, I really don't like from uh, Grady Brewer right now is there is no jab. None. I got news for you, Caesar. There's no pop behind his punches either. I think he's just telling you he went into this fight dry and he's just loosening up right now. I'm starting to see a little more head movement out of him. Even his hands are up a little more. I just, you know, I, I think he, I, I think he took, I, I think he took part that with me a little lightly. Oh. Nice little short, short hand, right hand with nothing on it, though. It scored. He was falling forward. Now, that, that one is a good, good right hand. I think Gray. Another, another good one. More gla grazing, grazing right hand. Again, he's thrown him against the ropes. It's, round's not over, and Grady was going to his corner. Uh, Bartholomew's nose is uh, bleeding. I, I say that that was a 10-9 round. That was a 10-9 round for uh, uh, for Bar I mean for uh, Grady Brewer plus the one point deduction makes it a 10-8 round uh, for uh, Grady Brewer. Here's the replay, and uh, we got uh, uh, that short right hand we just saw, and then Grady Brewer trying to come back with a left that he missed. He comes with a solid right there. Uh, you know, I, I think I, I'm telling you, he started this fight. I think his game plan was to be loosening up half in the fight to maybe conserve energy. I think it was a mistake. He gave up those first three rounds. I think Bartholomew made a huge mistake with the roughhouse tactics. He's been, with one bad round with a point deduction, he's got Grady Brewer right back in this fight. In the, in the final fight, se uh, fight sequence that we saw, the punch sequence, uh, Bartholomew is bending way too much at the waist, and uh, Brewer actually is throwing good uppercuts. He missed them, but he has the right idea. Yeah. You know, Grady Brewer right now is uh, is warmed up, and we'll see if it makes a difference. And 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 I think that he was throwing uh, his punches with a little more conviction in that last round. Well, we see some urgency in Grady Brewer now. Yeah, and you know what else you're seeing when he when they're in those clinches and he's nailing, uh, you know, with that free hand when he's nailing Bartholomew with that free hand. That's bothering Bartholomew. I, I think those punches are hurting him more than they appear. Well, we're seeing Bartholomew is not dancing as much as he was in the in the beginning rounds. It's more of a stationary, stationary target. That body shot stunned Bartholomew, and Brady, Grady was able to come back with a left. Now, that right hand that Grady just landed on the head of uh, Bartholomew looked like it could have hurt. Look, he just headbutted him on purpose. Yeah, hey. He bit him. He actually bit him. Bartholomew just bit Grady Brewer when he took him to the ropes on the right hand on the right side of the neck, and you can actually see the welt yes, building up. You can see the welt. You can on see his the belt. The welt. He just, he Here just comes got the doctor bit. to check him out. The doctor is checking it out. It's over. DQ. They just disqualified Bartholomew. Grady Brewer just won this fight. 
by a fifth round disqualification. Now, here we go with the replay. It was against the ropes. I, 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 I want to see if we can see it. I don't see, I see a welt. Here we go with the replay. It was rough house tactics. They're against the corner. They're hitting each other. Bartholomew gets him over the ring. And there's... there it is. He bites him right there. And he's trying to get away. Grady Brewers couldn't believe it. And why is the... Why does he even have to question it? I don't understand why the, the manager just had to go look at the bite. That's 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 irrelevant. The, the referee already called it. Here we go. We got the replay again. Well, we got we we, we got the. We got George Alon of Alonzo is going to present the belt to Grady Brewer, who just won the fans. Here comes the bite. As you can see, he leans over to the left side of the, he and he bites him right, right there. there. Yes, he does. And Grady Brewer is, is going ballistic right now. The bite was clearly... There's a welt on his neck. He didn't break the skin. George Alonzo is is with the referee right now. He's saying good call. We got the bite being the replay. We're going to the to the to the rebel rep, the rebel ring announcer who has taken control of of the, of the fight. What a bizarre we. I, yeah, I'll be back to Atlanta it season. It couldn't have ended any other way. Somebody again in super slow motion. And and here's what we just witnessed. We just witnessed Bartholomew acknowledge, so whether you can clearly see it or not, which you can, Bartholomew just acknowledged to Grady Brewer that he did indeed bite him and apologized. He leaned what over. Do he leaned over, looked at the cut, kissed the cut, right, right. Kissed, kissed, excuse me, kissed the bite, yep. and said, you know, gave him gave him a, an apolog an apologetic look. Yeah. Uh, bizarre. Uh, what else can I say? Uh, I, I I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Clearly, Grady Brewer was coming 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 on into the into the fight. He had warmed up, like he said. Uh, he was landing some punches. Uh, Bartholomew didn't like it, so he um, got out of it. Got out of it. You know, and and and, and you know, I, I thought it was strange that Grady Brewer started this fight so slow. I, I, I think, here we got, we got the replay one more time. Clearly see, they're in the clinch. They're, they're, they're hitting each other. They're getting rough right there. And uh, right now you're going to see it. He lands a shot. Bartholomew didn't like those shots. And as he leans over right there, he takes a chunk. And Grady Brewer freaks out right here. Right, he goes ballistic. He, yeah. He's just trying to get him off. Well, here's what I think. I think that Grady Brewer, because he had some trouble making weight, he was concerned with his his conditioning. I believe that he started this fight purposely. He started this fight purposely to uh, to. There it is. There's the bite for for another time. It's right there. You know. In conclusion, here, Caesar, I believe that. Uh, 
Uh, Grady Brewer started this fight. His game plan was to warm up during the fight. I feel that his plan was starting to unfold, even though he got knocked down. And uh, Bartholomew looked for a way out and bit him. Uh, that's exactly what happened, Billy. I agree 100%. Um, the the bite was evident. Uh, he acknowledged it at the end of the fight. Uh, what else can you say? I mean, the guy admits the guilt. Uh, the fight was not was turning not to be his way anymore. Right. And he chose an easy way out. Once Grady Brewer warmed himself up, he seemed a little crisper. He seemed to have a little more pop behind his punches. And uh, I think that... Uh, uh, I think that that was the way it was. So, uh, hey, listen, we had uh, an interesting night of fights, that's for sure. And uh, we got uh, people walking in front of our camera, but uh, nonetheless, Caesar, I really appreciate you uh, coming in and uh, and doing the show with me. We had some fun here. Oh, definitely. And, uh, I hope we get to do it again, my man. I hope so too. Thank you, Billy. All right. Well, listen, I'm Billy C. We're with Caesar Hernandez, uh, and we're uh, on LDL TV. We're coming at you from the uh, uh, Cobb Galleria Center. And uh, I just want to say, I just want to say thank you for joining us tonight. And uh, hopefully we'll get to uh, see you guys again real soon. Uh, and uh, maybe I'll even be back in Atlanta soon. I don't know. I hope but so. I, but I'm Billy C. Cesar Hernandez. Hernandez. Hey, thanks for joining us. Good night, everybody. Good night.